Papal officers stand at the street corners encouraging the crowds to cheer as the object is dragged before them into the market square. The object is a naked man. He has been in prison for seven years. Few would recognize him as the charismatic scholar and speaker who had dazzled Europe only a few years before with his speaking tours. A friar of the Dominican order, his public demonstrations of phenomenal mental skills and his books on mental self-improvement and mnemonics had made him a popular figure in a Europe hungry for new ideas. Now he is an object of horror. The papal guards unchain the man and fix him on a stake upside down. One guard now pulls the man's tongue forward out of his mouth and nails it to the stake. Next, he draws a knife from its scabbard and uses it to sever the man's tongue. Other officers of the church now step forward to ignite the pyre positioned below the man's head. The crowd watches in fearful approval as Giordano Bruno goes up in flames. It is Ash Wednesday. Giordano Bruno had been held in prison for seven years without trial in the vain hope that he might recant his heretical ideas. Such a recantation would break the spell of his popularity among a public who had flocked to his lectures and demonstrations of mental skills. It would serve as a warning to Christians throughout Europe not to stray too far from Catholic orthodoxy. In the absence of a recantation, a trial has been hurried through to allow for his public execution which will send shockwaves through Christendom for decades to come and leave people in no doubt that the ideas of Giordano Bruno are ideas to be avoided at every possible cost.